All right. Good morning. Um, Uncle Sam FM here, and I am now ready to begin the playoff run. I, uh, with my Emerald of Force save, I did manage to win the regular season of our conference, and I'll go ahead right now and just kind of look at the table um, of the MPL, MPSL South Southeast Conference. And yeah, it was close. It, it, I, didn't win it until the last day. Um, it was actually a pretty exciting finish. As you can see, I won eight, drew four, and lost two after a um, what was a, a great start. And that's when I won the league was the first five or six games. Um, kind of hit, well, ever since then, it's been an uneven, it's been uneven results. Um, there you can see one, yeah, five of the first six. And from there, after that, the last video, the one nothing win against Chattanooga FC, definitely struggled a bit. Uh, hit a real tough run of form there. The next three games, I was I went on the road. Uh, well, I was on. I was the Chattanooga game was on the road, but I, my road trip continued. I drew Inter Nashville, which was that was a that was a bad result. They were the worst team. They finished in the bottom. Then I went at Georgia Revolution and lost two to nothing. And Georgia Revolution had the best player in the league, maybe the best player in the NPSL. Uh, his name is Promise Isaac. I actually remember him because he played for Nigeria's Olympic team, uh, I think in the Chinese Olympics. Um, and in real life, he's actually signed for the Austin Bold, which is a USL championship team. So that's, that's the second division. And so you're talking about a second division quality player. He probably could occupy the bench of some MLS team and here he is with the Georgia Revolution and that actually was true in real life he played uh, the 2018 season for the Revolution and so he is by far the best player in our league and um, we didn't make things easy on ourselves because we gave them a penalty early in the match and he of course took it and hit it and we lost that game 2-0 to zero. Um, then we went to Greenville FC. That's another team. It finished in the bottom four. And unfortunately, we ended up with a draw there, which was, that's, you know, not was not a great result. We really made it hard on ourselves with results like this against some of the worst teams. Um, but then we came back home. Big win against New Orleans Jesters. Um, didn't win by a lot, but it was an important win. Um, so we got a 1-0 win there. Then played Chattanooga FC again. Brought at home. We dominated this game. But we couldn't find the winner. And so that was two points we dropped. I believe that was the first dropped points at home that we had this season. Um, then we went on the road to Asheville City. Big win there. Um, that was, you know, so three points uh, on the road. Kind of made up for some of our bad results at home. And... Um, then played Atlanta SC again. They have the best squad. We had this game won till a penalty in the 88th minute let them steal a point. And um, really, that result made the last match kind of desperately important. And that was a home match against Georgia Revolution and against Promise Isaac. Luckily for me, Georgia Revolution had literally played a game like two days before. Um, so fixture congestion hurt them. Yeah, it was... Well, Atlanta SC, and they lost that game five to one. Promise Isaac, of course, with the team's only goal, and um, so they lost five to one. Then they had two days, and then turned around and played us um, on our field, and we were able to mostly control the match. Um, they never really threatened. The only the only real chance they created was on a corner kick, and so we were able to win two to zero, and that was that was the decider um, because Atlanta SC. Um, obviously, um, won their matches, and so it was a it was a one. We won, we won the the conference by one point, and I really needed that number one seed because Atlanta SC finished second, Georgia Revolution finished third. I really wanted to avoid playing either of those teams in the conference semifinal. Uh, so now we get Chattanooga FC, which is probably they probably still have a better roster than I do, better squad. But um, they're still a more desirable desirable opponent than either Atlanta SC or Georgia Revolution, and so um, and you know the table was up and down, but the top four teams probably got through. Um, 
New Orleans, Greenville, Asheville City, and Nashville were probably the worst four teams in the conference. And Atlanta SC, Georgia, us, and Chattanooga were probably the best four. So the right four teams got through. Um, maybe not in the right order, but that works for us because we're the number one seed. So uh, we head into this match. Of course, big injury like two days before the playoff as uh, Ocasio Wallace um, went down with an injury and he'll be out for probably two weeks, probably most of the playoffs. I won't get him back. If I get him back at all, it won't be until the um, the region playoffs. So with that said, let's see if that even matters because uh, our, our semifinal match is against our arch rivals which we consider our arch rivals, the uh, Chattanooga FC. Um, again, best club probably in NPSL. They have a really good squad. We've not been in great form um, for for a while. We haven't lost a game in six, but that's, you know, we're not finishing um, our chances very well. Um, as a matter of fact, the chances we get, we're not even putting on target, really. So it's... um. And that's probably a little bit down to our quality up front. Um, it's just, it's not been, I feel like we could have been doing better. Like I'm getting, my, my striker has only one goal all year. That's not going to get it done. Um, he's got, his finishing is relatively low. I mean, nine, not awful for this level, but I could really use it to be better. And, you know, low determination. Um, he, Composure seven, concentration three. These are things that are kind of important for a striker, and he just does not have the quality there. So, so I've decided when I go to the off season, um, definitely need to improve in a couple areas: center back, right back, and striker. Those are the big. I feel pretty good about my midfield and my wingers, but um, need somebody who can finish goals. And my guy's not getting it done, so we're not scoring a lot. Um, we do have one of the better defensive records in the league. I believe that's because we keep the ball pretty well. Um, but, you know, what good is having the ball if you can't put it in the net? So let's find out today as um, we try to take on Chattanooga FC in advance to the conference final, which NPSL, this is kind of how they arrange the play. Well, this is how the South region, um, our conference, the Southeast Conference, has a four-team playoff to see who goes on to the region playoffs. So, um, it will give the fans the money worth. Always try and do that, right? Always all the ones. This is just how I do team talks. I don't know how you do them. I'm not gonna say that mine's the best way. So here we go. Here we are in the tunnel. Um, really, right? I think we can find a way through. Sure, why not? <clears throat> A big match, first uh, first playoff match with Emerald Force. Um, I say what I'm looking for the mid, you know, next season. I am going to keep an eye on the job security, job openings. Uh, right now, um, there wasn't much. I'm definitely not going to take a lateral move. And as I said in an earlier video, I'd like to skip the. Oh, I think we got a penalty. That lets Scott Wright take it. Do not let Rass take it. Yeah. And right puts it in, in the back of the net, and the force take a 1 0 lead. That's big. Blotted at home, even though the keeper guessed right. So they're going to come at us a little bit more. I'm not going to. I'm not going to make any rash tactical changes, but think about it at least. See, like that's Rass. He just launches a hopeful shot from distance, and he's just he's not going to make those. <clears throat> so yeah, I uh, will keep an eye on job openings. I I think my ideal next move would be maybe to one of the college teams. Um, either that or ooh, maybe one of the third division teams. There's uh, three third divisions in, in my save and in real life. Um, the NISA, USL1, shot by Christensen, and um, the, oh, the NPSL Pro. So, hey, maybe Chattanooga FC will be my next job. Chattanooga FC play, will be playing in the NPSL Pro next season. Uh, in real life, they're calling this first uh, season of the NPSL Pro the Founders Cup. But from there on, it's supposedly it's going to be a professional league. 
uh, American soccer is so volatile in the lower levels that you really n never know how things are going to shake out. The NISA was supposed to start like two years ago, but things happen. And so it hasn't even started yet. And there's only, I think, two teams that have actually branded. So, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, I don't intend on staying with the force long. Ooh, Murray with a shot off the bar that Craig saved. Rags. So really, we're dominating this game. Um, Chattanooga FC. For some reason, they, they've put a team on the field that's really not fit. And there's no reason for that to be true because we all played... Uh, the, our final match on the same day of the season so on the same day and Mendoza Anibal I believe that yeah that's his second goal um, goal from my center back on a free kick which I don't know how you guys feel I, it seems to me like I've read a little bit I think this is from what I've read it's true there, goals off set pieces are more prevalent in FM19 than in the past well, we're going to get a card Like, obviously, I'm going to be excited that I get a goal, but I also, like, it's, I'm just waiting for them to get, to get a set piece goal. That's, I spend most, like, every, I just, I don't remember that being the case in years past. Every set piece, assuming that there, there's going to be a goal. Which I, um, I've set up a bunch of set pieces. I'm. You get three slots for each thing. Uh, I haven't filled all of them, but there are a lot of set piece up, um, categories where I have all three slots filled with set pieces. <clears throat> Partly, I don't know. It can be kind of fun. I don't test each one enough, but um, I watch it. You know, watch them a couple times to see. And, and if I think that it looks good, like it's going to create something for me, I, I leave it and then go make another one and. Next thing I know, I've got like, I've got three, all slots filled, and then I've got five I'm not even using. All right, so halftime, 2-0, good first half. Uh, Scott Wright with the penalty, and then Mendoza on a set piece. And we are 45 minutes away from the conference final. So let's go tell the guys. Going? Reason to say anything else, I don't think. Get out there and finish this thing. <laughs> The result holds. If the scoreline holds, I'm going to start subbing probably about the hour mark because I do want to try and get my guys as fresh as I can for the final. <clears throat> this will be... So I am I did win the Volunteer Shield, which it is a real-life um, trophy. It's, a, it's kind of a rivalry trophy. Ooh, red card for... Chattanooga that probably ends the, their chances so uh, yeah with we um, Chattanooga we won and we drew and International we won and we drew so those are the three teams that are in the volunteer shield and with our eight points we would be the winner it's obviously I don't have that in the game Pull out Martin. He's an important piece. Um, I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull Christensen because I don't want him to get a red card and be out of the final for something stupid. I actually, had his ease off tackles on. Pull that off. <clears throat> so yeah, won the Volunteer Shield. This this match it's a playoff match, so in real life it would not count toward the volunteer shield but it's it's still good to end your rival season <clears throat> and uh chattanooga fc as we as i said in a previous video probably the best overall club in major league soccer or major league soccer in the npsl can't lose him i hadn't because of my injury to my center back i had to move the guy who usually plays left back into the middle and so can't afford to lose any more along the back line. Shots into Murray. I feel like, am I 
tactic works pretty well. Ooh, and we have another penalty, I think. Chattanooga FC, the wheels are coming off for them. They're they're unraveling. And right with a brace. I'm probably gonna sub him, so he'll be a little pissed trying to get a chance for his hat trick. This time the keeper guessed wrong and right put it on target. That's all you gotta do. So this could be a really lopsided result. I don't know how you guys do with tactics. I uh, I'm always tempted to tweak. The thing is, sometimes you know there could be nothing wrong with your tactic, but you know the other team makes a play, and a goal by McCarthy. Just put him in, and this thing's getting ugly. Four zero. Go ahead, good goal, good cross, and finish by McCarthy. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna just empty the bench here. I get six subs. I'm gonna use five. I'm not gonna put in my gray players unless I have to. But get him off. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, we'll bring Munoz on for for often. Yeah, sorry, right? But you're coming out of there. Put a right winger, a left winger, but at this point it doesn't really matter. I'm really just trying to keep the guys as fresh as possible. The playoff game will only be the, the final, the conference final will only be a couple days. Maybe three, four days. <clears throat> so this is a good result. Um Chattanooga FC again. Uh, they, they do have a good squad. They I don't for some reason I'm gonna go look at their schedule when we get out of here, but they their team came in just absolutely knackered. They're it really did, doesn't make sense to me. We both played our last game on the same day. Unless they were just... I don't know. I Maybe they trained hard. <laughs> I rested. I don't... I didn't... I, I, big matches? Um, I'm not gonna... I honestly don't know. We'll see. It, it, it's semi-pro. So you can only you can only train two days a week. So that really I know, training can't be the reason. So there it is. Um, clearly, you can see we were dominant. Uh, Nineteen shots, uh, eight on target. I really want to get that over. Like only eight on target. That's I need I need that to be up 10, 12 when you get nineteen shots. If you're not even testing the keeper, what's the point? Uh, possession 62%. Um, clear cut chances. We had two. They had zero. Um, yeah, so, you know, and, and it could have been, probably could have got another goal or two if we left uh, our starters in the whole, the, the last half hour. But again, I'm looking ahead to the championship. All right, uh, Atlanta SC won on penalties. No surprise there. So they, w they will be our opponent in the South region southeast final um just kind of looking around the league fort worth advanced they'll be playing uh defending south region champion midland odessa and in the heartland ca st louis with a huge win over little rock and they'll be playing fc wichita fc wichita is another um strong club in uh, npsl so and the sunshine the sunshine conference does not um they don't have a playoff so they've got looks like they've got some matches to play yet uh, palm beach and miami united has one more match but it looks like miami fc is going to uh advance they don't have a playoff so they'll just miami fc will go right to the south region semifinal so yeah exciting win um let me go look and see why chattanooga why in the earth well it was only it was only three days ago I, 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 st I just don't get how, though, I was in such better shape than them. They didn't. That's three. They had the same three-day rest that we did. So I don't know. I honestly, I don't, I don't know why they were so tired. I mean, they did have a game on July fourth. They had a game July fourth, and then July seventh. I don't think we had a game on July fourth. So. Yeah, we didn't. So we did have an extra couple days before our last game. So that must have been what it was. 
But great result, 4-0. That, that matches our biggest win of the season, which was the first game against Inter Nashville. So we might be picking up steam at the right time. Let's hope so. Um, next game will be Atlanta SC. Probably won't live com that one. Um, if I you know, if I lose, we'll just go right into the um, postseason video. And if I win, maybe we'll do the South Region semifinal. Um, so... Uncle Sam FM signing off. We will make sure to see you guys next time. If you have any um, suggestions, please post them. Any comments? Uh, always interested to read criticism. Um, may help make this better. I'm not like a professional video um, producer, but uh, I think this is a unique concept. Something that not many do. I've not seen anyone play in NPSL. So um, yeah, if you like it, shoot a like, subscribe, yada yada. So we'll see you next time.